What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I hope you're having a sincerely wonderful, wonderful day. It is, uh, what, Tuesday? Today we have the release of Gina Carano's new movie, uh, Terror on the Prairie. I'm absolutely looking forward to watching it tonight. No, I didn't take advantage of any advanced screeners. I want to watch it with everyone else, to be honest with you. Um, but a reckoning is coming um, with Elon Musk, and uh, he is going to Twitter headquarters. He is going to address Twitter employees. And with everything going on right now with libs of TikTok, he's absolutely going to have um, some uh, some bones to pick with some of these lunatics after um, leaked conversations. Earlier today, I've been kind of keeping an eye on the Twitter stock. It's still at $37.66. Which, you know, again, if we look at the stock price of Twitter and we and we kind of look at it from a perspective of this is Wall Street's confidence that Elon Musk will complete the purchase of Twitter for $54.20. They at least are they are either not super confident or they are um, uh, uh, thinking that he's going to renegotiate a lower price. I'm not sure he's going to be able to renegotiate a lower price at this point as things seem to have cooled off. But now he's going to Twitter. He's going to be answering employee questions at an all hands on deck meeting on Thursday. I would, I would argue that this probably signals that he's definitely very interested in continuing to uh, pursue this purchase. But it is virtual. Elon Musk will attend a virtual all-hands meeting uh, with Twitter employees on Thursday. One of the interesting things, one of the things that's probably going to be on the minds of the Twitter employees is their very famous uh, work-from-home policy. The fact that um, hardly anyone uh, shows up at the office for them. Look, I'm not, look, when I had employees, <clears throat> I, and we worked in a digital marketing agency, so pretty much everyone could do their job from home. I didn't like uh, work from home. I wanted my people in the office. I felt like having them work from home, you know, it's good for some people, but other people, they 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 don't get that kind of energy that, you know, you, you generate sitting next to somebody and brainstorming and things of that nature. Times have changed and I've softened a little bit about that, but uh, we saw Elon basically tell Tesla employees like bro and broettes, you're coming into work. Um, so here's the, uh, sorry, He'll field questions from the company while he's in, he's in the process of buying. His attendance was announced in an email from Twitter CEO Praj Agarwal on Monday, seen by Business Insider. God, they have a lot, they have little skis balls everywhere, don't they? Employees will be able to submit questions in advance of the meeting. It will be the first time Musk has addressed Twitter's nervous employees directly since announcing the plans for the forty-four billion dollar takeover. Well, we do know uh, based on some of the things that Elon has said and what. Basically, anybody can glean from just about any corporate takeover is that there's going to be cuts. Um, a significant portion, I imagine, will self-select uh, for termination, which is great. Uh, makes it easier on Elon. Uh, it seems like Twitter is extraordinarily bloated. What I do think is interesting is I'm sure that there are, like the overwhelming majority of Twitter employees are not lunatics. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case. And um, I haven't had any of them reach out to me. I'd be curious if you watch my videos and you're a Twitter employee who isn't a lunatic, you know, I'd love to know where your head is at. To me, I feel like if I'm a good worker, um, I'm pumped because I think Elon will reward that. Uh, I think a lot of people suffer in silence and get let themselves get bullied by kind of these activist level people. Um, now, the meeting has a chance to be uh fractious in twitter's internal slack channels the tesla ceo's attempt to buy the company has reportedly been met with a negative response Doi. and employees are concerned about the effect of a privately owned twitter and what it could have on their culture and compensation well i would imagine that the culture is something that you can just throw out the window um twitter's culture as an employee thing you know a lot of companies that have like some of the worst cultures uh imaginable are always talking about company culture um, you know, how often did Blizzard talk about their company culture? Um, you know, uh, Riot Games talk about their company culture. Um, now, Elon Musk's enthusiasm for the deal appears to have waned since he first announced plan to acquire Twitter in mid-April. 
He repeatedly threatened to postpone or scrap the deal after claiming that Twitter had refused to provide him with data on a number of spam bots on the platform, only for Twitter to oblige earlier this month. Now, if you've been following the story, you know that uh, they've provided, uh, quote unquote, the fire hose, which is like the raw Twitter user data. Now, you still have to have somebody, you can have the biggest database on the planet. You still have to have somebody who knows how to dissect and query that data and ask the right questions of it. I'm sure Elon does, to be honest with you. But, you know, on top of that, um, it's been interesting to watch as people inside of Twitter get more and more emboldened. I think the fact that he's doing a Q&A probably would tell you that he still plans on going forward with the deal and he wants to settle down some of the employees. Um, that said, again, this could just be yet another negotiating tactic because, you know, Elon is is a fickle dude. And, you know, for a guy who's worth hundreds of billions, for him to lose a billion even in the, the walkout of, you know, potential walkout, would be better than him buying it for 50, 44 billion if he felt like it was really only worth 30 or something like that. Uh, but what's interesting to me, by the way, thanks everyone who's been uh, supporting the coffee company with teas and cocos, of course. And uh, thanks to everyone who uh, has subscribed to the channel. We recently finally started growing again a little bit and um, that's been really awesome. It's really hard to break through on Twitter or on, on YouTube to find new viewers, and so I appreciate it. And everyone who watches me on Rumble, Odyssey, or BitChute, I appreciate you as well. Now here's the actual email that, that kind of was sent out. Um, you know, what's interesting is, or here's the Business Insider article. In a brief email viewed by Insider, Argawal said the virtual meeting with Musk will take place Thursday. Twitter workers will be able to submit questions to him starting Wednesday. Leslie Berlin, Twitter's chief marketing officer, and head of people will moderate the call as she has during previous all hands meetings. So she will be reading Musk's selected questions. Musk has already been a central topic of discussion at several meetings and on internal Slack channels and Twitter since he invested in and then offered to acquire the social media company earlier this year. Some workers have previously expressed quote, anger and disappointment at his efforts to take over the company. Some have quit eh, or plan to pro plan to quit in protest. I don't ever really understand, you know, qu like quitting your job to own own the conservatives or, or whatever, Con you know, on either side of this, it's like conservatives who are like, hey, hey the economy's so, so crappy, hey, 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 Biden sucks, right? It's like, dude, like everyone's suffering. <laughs> like, it's not that funny. Like, I don't, I don't really like to, and the idea anyway, quitting your job to like, uh, dunk on Elon, it just means you're unemployed. Um, you know, and it'll be interesting to, to see. I imagine he'll pick like a couple of pretty basic topics. Um, but the, the idea that he's going to meet with them, I think signals some level of confidence. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but we do know he's pretty pissed off about the libs of TikTok thing. You can see this article in New York Post. Elon Musk comes to the defense of libs of TikTok over uh, vile Twitter words. Now, again, I don't think Twitter would have acted at all if Elon didn't interject himself. Musk, the Tesla CEO, has committed to acquiring the social media site for $44 billion, tweeted, why? After the libs of TikTok creator, who was identified by the Washington Post, not going to say their name, um, tweeted on Monday that she has now received about a dozen threats after radical leftists claimed she was something terrible. Twitter has not removed any of the accounts for those people who have sent them. Now, to be fair, you have to give them a little bit of time. Like you have to give Twitter a little bit of time to like react to. Sorry about the barks. Huck is down here with me today because uh, I, I because Ruby's in heat and uh, he's been insufferable. Um, but you know, it does take some time to review these type of things and get at them and. You know, I'm sure that Twitter is not incentivized to act quickly on these things unless it's, of course, you know, said to a leftist or somebody who is uh, on the, you know, higher up on the victimhood stack. Um, but some of the comments say this fiasco certainly does bring the hypocrisy of the left into sharp focus. Um, yeah, I would say that that's very true. And it's been an interesting story to follow, one that I will continue to keep all of my viewers updated on uh, here on the channel. 
uh, please make sure that you're subscribed. Please make sure that you uh, hang out. I know the comment section isn't working today or there's some weird stuff going on. So I appreciate you dealing with that. We'll talk to you again real soon.